Well, it's a beautiful August morning. It's not too hot, but the air is very still, so it's a bit humid. And people are really enjoying the water and trying to get in the, the last bits of summer. School will be starting soon and you'll be in second grade. It's hard to believe. I miss you. But we have to be thankful for the fact that we no matter what the conditions are that we get to experience this world and this life. Uh, it's, a, it's just a phenomenal miracle that we even get to get to wake up in the morning and see the sunshine. It's uh, statistically speaking, almost um, unimaginably that, w that, that there could be this thing called life and that's just um, just a thing to, I don't know if you want to ponder on it too much or whatever, but it's certainly something that we can always come back to when we're trying to just reset our thinking and get ready for a new week, you know, and just start, start simple. Hey, it's a miracle. It's a miracle that I even get this opportunity and then start building from there and build and build and don't cut yourself short with what you think that you're capable of doing. You don't have to have, or, and I say you, but I mean everybody, all of us, we don't have to have some overly, um, what a, word do I want to use? You know, we could say overly ambitious, but that's not even really the word I want to use. I, we. I guess what I'm trying to say is we don't have to look at things as though we, um, that everything that we want to do is just some sort of way out there, uh, almost impossible thing, you know, and, and that, you know, um, you know, and that, you, you know, we're, we're going to have to, um, just be so unique and special or whatever that to, to accomplish something that seems like in our minds is just so impossible to do. And that's, although there are some things like that, I guess you could say, um, when it comes that, that's just believe in yourself that what the human being can do if they, if they're working on something that they're passionate about and they, and they can see step by step how to go about doing what they're trying to do you don't have to and you don't have to think of it as being something that's so far out there and, and that it's almost impossible to accomplish if you're following your heart you're putting the work in and and you're and, and you're passionate about it you'll get to where you want to go it may not be at the time where you actually think that that's going to be that the thing that's in our mind that's like our goal or the thing that's out in front of us you know might not end up looking exactly like what's in our mind but it might oftentimes be much better because the future is not something that we can really see but it's something that we can we that we can recognize is is out there so it's good to have recognition of what the future is and, and kind of where we want to be in the future but also keep in mind that that there's a lot of external events that are going to really determine exactly what that is and oftentimes uh, when people have something that they're passionate about and they start trying to go in a certain direction with it as long as they they stay um i guess positive and they stay with uh, good intentions in mind and i don't just mean good intentions but really good actions that they treat the people around them well and but at the same time treat yourself well when treating other people well doesn't mean giving up on yourself or or sacrificing your you know your morals and your ethics that's not what i mean but just treating people well and knowing that say other people in your field whatever that might be what you meant there's a people you're peers in school or 
peers in some other endeavor that you're trying to do, whether it's learning a, a skill or practicing an art or a job or, a, you know, whatever, a career, uh, whatever it might be, it could be anything that, you know, that you're, pre that you're respectful of the people around you and you work with them and you learn from them and you learn from the ones that are doing good work and have something to really teach and respectful of all those people. And it will kind of, it's a combination of your visions and your goals and your ambitions along with your pro appropriate interaction with the people around you will sort of mix together like a, like a, like a cake and it'll bake. And in the end you'll have this, you know, you'll have this nice, nice, you know, uh, cake to eat or whatever and, or whatever it is. And, you know, and, um, or it could be like art or like music where you start to get your, uh, it could be an analogy like where you're, you know, you have an idea of what you want to paint or a, a musician has that idea of a song they want to sing, but then they have to take inspiration that's from all around them, you know, to kind of build on that and, and, and to gain, you know, the, the insights and the epiphanies. An epiphany is a, it's sort of like a moment of clarity. It's like when you're trying to work on a problem and you, you're working on it and you're working on it. And then all of a sudden you get the kind of get the answer. That's an epiphany. And in that, those things come from appropriate interactions. And then you're also trying to make sure that you're not only focused on just the ambition of the, the, the goal and things you're working on, but you're also living a, a full life and, and you have peace and understanding with the people around you and you have good relationships and those sorts of things then in the, in, the, in the end something comes out of all of that and uh you know and and, and and if and if everything um is done right it might not be the exact thing that you envisioned at the beginning but it might be something better or or something that's different in a way that you couldn't have imagined but that is that is positive you know and um and and so start start with the simplicity of just being grateful that that you that you're here and that you got the you can see the little dragonflies and i don't know if i caught that on camera or not there's that dragonfly are you on are you on camera and uh there was some mullets were jumping out here a minute ago too yeah the fishermen are out there fishing so yeah you should just start with that that gratitude for for life and then and then step by step take on the challenges enjoy it even the hard stuff the hard stuff is really the things that you when you look back it's ironic the hard stuff is the things that are in front of you that are sort of like saying oh Oh, I don't know if I want to do that or I can't do that or this or that or the other. And then when you turn around and look backwards, they're the most wonderful parts of your life. So, you, you know, take on those challenges and know that the reward for taking on those challenges is going to be really great in the end. I love you. I love you and have a wonderful day.